over the years, storage has uh, improvements in storage has been driven by many things, many factors. One of the main ones has been in the uh, need for ever greater bandwidth on the part of uh, uh, hosts, servers, and the like. Well, in the last few years alone, the uh, bandwidth, bandwidth requirements of servers have gone up many times. Uh, for instance, several years ago, a typical server had uh, uh, two dual-core CPUs installed and uh, maybe you ran four virtual machines off of those. Today, your typical server has uh, eight-core CPUs and four of those inside, so you can run typically 32 virtual machines. So basically, storage has to provide ever-increasing bandwidth uh, to serve the needs of these servers and, and hosts. In order to do that, uh, a store, a typical storage um, uh, technology will include improvements in internal bandwidth and external bandwidth. The, uh, from an external bandwidth point of view, of course, we require uh, standards committees to uh, improve their um, uh, or enhance the bandwidth of their standards uh, to meet these requirements. Uh, and, of course, in storage, the primary host interface is fiber channel. And uh, the a very um, hot topic of late has been fiber channel, 16, 16 gig fiber channel, and for obvious reasons to uh, increase the bandwidth here. Now, 16 gig fiber channel, what it provides for us is uh, you can either get improved bandwidth directly or you can get lower cost uh, per port cost uh, to get the same amount of bandwidth. So today, if you're uh, satisfied with the bandwidth you get out of 8 gig fiber channel, well, you can uh, reduce the cost by using half the number of ports of 16 gig fiber channel. Uh, alternately, if you feel you need more bandwidth, uh, you can keep the same number of ports, and with 16 gig fiber channel, you can get double the bandwidth. 16 gig fiber channel uh, was available or was sampling in certain kinds of units like switches and HBAs back in 2011. But um, you really started uh, seeing volume shipments of HBAs and switches in early this year. Uh, but storage has been lagging behind with regard to uh, deployment of 16 gig. Uh, Infratrend is happy to say that we are the first storage company to ship 16 gig fiber uh, connectivity to the host, and that was this month, uh, May. Um, what we offer basically is backward compatibility with 8 gig, so if you have an 8 gig infrastructure, you don't have to upgrade it immediately, but then uh, you have um, uh, protection of investment in the sense that um, when you finally do decide to go to 16 gig, and you have a 16 gig InfraTrend unit, uh, basically you, you can connect it up and you can get the bandwidth improvement right away. Um, the one thing to note though is that for those who are still using 4 gig fiber channel, legacy 4 gig fiber channel, that will EOL probably this year. So um, it's a good idea to start thinking about upgrading. The uh, transition from 8 gig to 16 gig fiber channel is predicted to be fairly quick probably six months to one year. Uh, this is in contrast to the transition from 4 gig to 8 gig, which is about one and a half years to two years. So it's a good idea right now to start thinking about uh, how to transition. And uh, with what's available now, with the HBAs, the switches, and now our storage, you can transition right away. You don't have to wait. So um, uh, we encourage our customers to give some thought right now to uh, transitioning to 16 gig and of course we our units will help you in that process.